I just got my urine out of the centrifuge. I'm gonna show you how to properly pour off and leave the right amount of sediment behind. Now, just a reminder, everything that leaves your hand has to have proper identification. So I have my patient's last name, first name with the medical record number on the tube, never on the lid. But a little hint for class, because a lot of times you're gonna be doing a lot of these at once and people have to go find their own in the centrifuge. I always do put my initials on the top of the tube because otherwise you might have four or five of you trying to figure out whose is who's in the, in the centrifuge. So your initials can go on the top of the tube in class for sure, but make sure on the specimen itself, not on the lid, but on the specimen, patient's last name, first name, and medical record number. I'm gonna come over to the dirty sink. And if you remember, these have this little nipple at the bottom. And so because of that, when I go to decant, I need to be really careful. I don't wanna slowly pour off. I don't wanna like pour off and go back and forth. You have to commit. So what you're gonna do is you're literally just going to pour, wait till it's out, flip it over. If you look, I actually have the perfect amount left in this bottom. So then you can flick it a little bit, go up and down with your pipette, and then you're gonna load your slide. When you go to load your slide, you're gonna put the uh, fluid in the pipette, you're going to hold it real close, and you're going to squeeze. So I'm gonna demo here, and we're gonna put it in this guy here. I got my, my air out, I'm just gonna let capillary action fill all the way around, and that's all you have to do. You wanna make sure to only fill one at a time, because if you fill more than one at a time, they do start evaporating and you have problems. When you're done, after I take this over and look at it, Put a big X on the well. That makes you remember that you actually have read that one at some point and you don't, don't go back to it because once that urine dries in the well and you go back to it, it gets all crystally and really weird looking and very difficult to read.